welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about fracture of ductiles and brittle materials so if you understand if you got it then subscribe like and share so let us start with the, our topic fracture so fracture in simple way you can say that separation of a body under stress into two or more number of parts so one body it will be dividing into two or more number of parts or you can say that will be considering as a fracture of a metal so in this video i am talking about the materials of ductile material and brittle materials or simple way fracture is considered as a end result of plastic deformation or you can say that will be the end point of your plastic deformation so that body it will be converting into two or more number of parts so processes which results in a creation of two or more new surfaces so different authors it will be taking different kind of references of a fracture so fracture is generally caused by physical or chemical forces so in case of physical forces sometimes it will be the tensile force shear force acting on to the body and that will be converting into two or more number of parts or some component it will be chemically affected and due to that corrosion on which and any kind of chemical reactions onto the metal and that will be converting into two or more number of parts so basically fracture is caused by the physical or chemical forces acting onto the body so fractures take place in a two stages first crack initiation and second crack propagations so once crack is initiated into the components it always get propagates so type of the fractures so generally two types of fracture brittle fracture for the brittle materials and ductile fractures for the ductile materials so basically a non ductile materials or you can say the brittle materials that fracture with little or no plastic deformation so there is no change in a physical dimension of a component and that component it will be converting into two or more number of parts so such kind of failure of the materials you can considering as a brittle kind of fracture so let's see on to the diagram so in figure a that will be considering as a brittle fracture so in case of brittle fractures after application of tensile load from the both the end of the components so that body it will be separating into two or more number of part so in that case it will be making a sharp edges or you can say little or no plastic deformation there is no change into length in second case if the shear force is acting onto the body and your material get failure so that will be considering as a shear fracture in the figure c or you can say completely ductile fracture or you can say point fracture so after application of tensile load your material get failure or dividing into two or more number of part so it will be called as a ductile fracture or you can say the point fracture so point d or you can say figure number d it will be also considering as a ductile kind of fracture so ductile material you can say always it will be the fighting materials against the application of stresses where the brittle materials it will be suddenly breaking into the two or more number of part so the ductile fracture is always accompanied by plastic flow proceeding the rupture it shows the fiber structures of the surface at the rupture sections caused by the flow of the more highly stressed part of the crystals so in simple way if you see or observe the cross sectional area where the ductile material fractured so it will be the rough structure because each and every atoms it will be breaking their bonding and it will be separating into two or more number of parts so always it will be make the rough structures at the fractured area so generally it occurs with the little or no plastic force if the broken pieces of a brittle fracture have fitted together 
the original shape and dimensions of the specimens are obtained. So, you can get the same physical dimensions of joining of the two separated body in case of brittle fracture, but in case of ductile fracture, it always elongated and it makes the fiber structure at its cross sectional area. So, in an ideal material, fracture can be visualized as a pulling apart and breaking of the inner atomic bonds across two neighboring atomic planes. So, let us see if shear strand that will be greater than a cohesive strand. So, in case that will be the brittle kind of fracture. So, shear strand is greater than a cohesive strand in simple way. If shear strand is less than cohesive strand of the materials, see it always followed the ductile fracture. So, that will be the simplest summary of the brittle fracture and ductile fracture. So, let us see on to the stress strain curve of the ductile materials or you can say stress strain relationship in a wire. So, x axis representing strain or you can say change in length upon the original length, y axis it will be representing as a stress. So, by the application of stress your material get elongated. So, at the point number a or you can see at high stress that will be the elastic behavior of the material. So, elasticity you can see the material having the ability to regain in its original shape after the removing of the external load. So, at point number A, the material having ability to once again it will be converting into original shape, but at point number B that will be the elastic limit or you can say the yield point. So, you can see that will be the end point of elasticity. So, that material now it will be the starting point of the plastic behavior or plastic city or you can say the permanent deformation of the materials. So, permanent changing the dimension of the materials. So, in the region of the elasticity material having ability to in its to so regain in its original positions in the plastic behavior it will be the permanent changing of the shape. So, point number B that will be called as a starting point of the plasticity or you can say end point of the elasticity. So, after point B to C that will be you can say the starting point of the permanent deformation and at point number D that will be called as a fracture point. So, all the ductile material first it will be elastic behavior then it will be exceeding from the yield point or you can say the elastic limit then it will be come in picture with the plastic deformation or you can say plastic behaviors. So, in case of plastic behaviors that will be called as a permanent changing the shape and size of the materials or components and point D that will be representing as a fracture point or you can say fracture. So, that body it will be converting or you can say separating into two or more number of parts. So, this all about the ductile materials behavior. If in the case of brittle materials, so here you can see similarly x axis it will be representing as a strain, y axis representing as a stress. So, it will be just straight line. So, little or no elastic region or you can say yield point, rapture point and ultimate tensile stress, it will be having the same point. So, after application of the stress onto the brittle materials, it will be suddenly failure. So, it will be no any kind of fighting kind of behavior of the materials. So, in both the cases of the ductile and brittle, ductile material you can say it will be the fighting materials in the field of engineering. So, following some kind of factors have mark upon the type of fractures. First rate of impact. So, many materials which fails by the non-ductile fractures under a sudden impact can be failed in a ductile manner when an equal force is applied solely. So, the meaning of this rate of impact if you are applying the stress at the same time impactly. So, then your selected material as a ductile, but the behavior of the failure like brittle materials but same kind of same amount of load you can apply it slowly. So, that material having the ability 
first it will be elastically deformed then plastically deformed and then failure so rate of impact it will be influencing of the failure of the materials in case of the ductile your selected material is a ductile but it will be failure like a brittle materials so there is a one of the parameters of the fracture of the ductile materials so that will be rate of impact so the examples glass and asphalts second temperatures we all know the materials usually have a higher temperature toughness at elevated temperatures and more brittle at reduced temperatures so if you are increasing the temperatures so materials are softer if we are reducing the temperatures so material becoming brittle so by lowering the temperature or increasing the temperature that will be the change of the strain into the materials so generally at higher temperatures material having a good elongation characteristics when at the lower temperature it becomes brittle so there is no deformation or little deformations so if the temperature is a part of your applications so that will be affect the failure of the materials next geometry of the materials in some cases the irregular shapes lead to concentrated stresses and localized fractures the ductile to brittle fracture transmission is affected by the size of the specimens so by obviously the geometry having a important part for generating or we can say stress concentration if the stress concentrate so at the point it will be the starting point of the fracture so under the condition in which small test piece fail in a ductile manner when a large test piece may fail in a brittle manner so if we take the same composition of the different shape and size of the materials so if it will be having a small piece so it will be having a failure like a ductile materials but the same composition and same material having a large piece so the failure of the material like a brittle manner so just you can see the different steps of the failure of a ductile materials if you apply the load according to the figure number a so there is a elongation into the material or you can say in simple way increasing the length and decreasing the diameter so at which area that will be decreasing the diameter of the components it will be called as a necking so due to the applied tensile force first step it will be the necking take place so according to the point number b nucleation of cavities so if the some kind of defects it will be present into the materials so at that necking area that all the cavities it will be get together and after the application of the load all the cavities it will be collapse and converting into the cracks and finally in the figure number d it will be converting into two or more number of part with the shape of cup and cone kind of fracture so let's see in the tensile fracture of the moderate ductile materials the plastic deformation eventually produce at a neck region as shown into figure fracture begins at the center of the specimen then extend by the shear separation along the dash line ductile fracture normally occurs through the grains so that will be having a good characteristic to withstanding the external applied force or you can say in simple way stress so that ductile material having a good ability to withstand the higher amount of stresses before the failure of the materials so the stages in the development of a ductile and that will be you can say cup and con fracture so in simple way ductile material fracture or you can say cup and con kind of fracture of the materials so the different steps first neck formation take place at the point of the plastic instability under the tensile load so you can say in simple way at which area that will be reducing the cross sectional area by the application of the tensile load 
the formation of the necks introduce a triaxial state of stress in a region. So many fine cavities nucleated from in the neck region. Under the continuous straining, cavities expand by the plastic deformation and collapse into the central cracks. So that all the cavities it will be get together and it will be converting into the cracks. So you can say central cracks. The crack grows perpendicular to the axis of the specimen until it approaches the surface of the specimens. So, 1, 2 and 3 that will be related with the crack initiation and once crack initiated your fourth number point and that will be the cracks grows perpendicular to the axis of the specimen. So, that will be the propagation of the cracks. So, once crack is formed into the materials into ductile it always get propagates. So, in then propagates to the surface of the specimen in a direction roughly 45 degree to the tensile axis to form a cone part of the fracture. So, just you can see now the basic difference between the ductile failure and the brittle failure. So, first in case of ductile failure it involves the large plastic deformation. So, all the ductile material first it will be elastically deformed then it will be having a yield point then plastically deform and then failure or you can see separating your body into two or more number of parts. In case of brittle failure it is associated with the minimum plastic deformation or you can say no plastic deformation or little deformation of the materials and it will be having a suddenly failure of the materials. Second point in the case of ductile failure it always proceed by the localized deformation calling as a necking. So, necking is always formed in the case of ductile materials, but in the case of brittle materials it does not involve necking. Third point in the case of ductile failure ductile fracture normally occurs into the FCC metals or you can say face centered cubic structure. But brittle fractures generally observed into the BCC or you can say body centered cubic and HCP hexagonal close pack metals, but do not into the FCC structure. So, most of the ductile materials it will be having a face centered cubic structure. Point number 4 in case of ductile failure the ductile fracture normally occurs through the grains. So, which will be having a good strength or you can say good mechanical property to withstanding the stress without failure. But in case of brittle, the brittle fractures normally follows the grain boundaries or you can say it will be having a suddenly failure. Once your boundary is fail, so it will be suddenly across the cross sectional of the area it get failure. So, suddenly kind of failure through the boundaries. Point number 5 in case of ductile fracture a complete ductile fracture presents a rough dirty surfaces it has rough dirty contour. But in case of brittle kind of fracture a complete brittle fracture shows a sharp planet facts which reflects the lights. Point number 6 it occurs by slow tearing of the metals with expenditure of the considerable energy. In case of brittle failure it occurs suddenly without any kind of warning. So, in simple way ductile materials you can say it will be the fighting materials in the field of engineering. So, maximum applications you can find with the ductiles materials, but brittle materials it will be suddenly failure. So, it will be having a rare applications in the field of engineering. So, thank you very much. So, like subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials.